Hey guys, welcome back. This is Zephyr here, and today I'm just doing a book review of the next book that I read. This is The Visitor by Lee Child, and man, was this one a rush. Um, it was a lovely couple of days in Singapore here, some lovely rainy weather. You might hear some thunder during this video, or oh, my daughter screaming. So that's the front cover, a Jack Reacher thriller, Lee Child, The Visitor, all we need, no, we all need, we all need Jack Reacher, Righteous Avenger for our troubled times. And this is the back cover. This is the spine, it's purple and gold. I really like the fact that it's purple and gold due to spiritual reasons. Firstly, I really, really like the artwork. I really like the purple and gold. And it's, it's a spirituality thing. Uh, bubbles, the crown chakra, and gold as well, royalty. Anyway, let's not get too crazy. This book is actually the fourth book that was written in the Jack Reacher series, according to a couple of lists they've provided on the front cover and some on the back. Also, this book was published, if I'm looking at the publishing page, by Trans World Publishers, interesting name, by Penguin, as usual. Um... First published in Great Britain in 2000 by Bantam Press. Is it Bantam or Bantam or Bantam or Bantam? I have no idea. I don't know what a Bantam is. <laughs> but it was first published in 2000. Published and reissued in 2011. So it's written in around 2000. It says copyright Lee Child, you know, the copyright symbol 2000. So it's written around 2000. So wonderful. It's a old book. It's 22 years old. It feels 22 years old, to be honest, uh, given the description of the characters. But that's usually, I think, what he writes about. Oh, no, no, there was a new one, The Sentinel. That was more new. Um, that was more recent. I think he wrote that with his brother. But this one was an old one, and it was, it was it had just the right amount of stress, just the right amount of calmness. If I may get a bit poetic here, I think this, the stress and the anxiety, if you will, that builds up from uh, the, the plot... Is sort of balanced out by the vast open um, settings or the locations that is described. Uh, it's one of those like old country western types where there's a lot of country, there's a lot of land, it's quite open. Uh, so to, to me that's always a very uh, a mysterious kind of combination because it's not like a city where it's like bam, 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 and like the next door or whatever. Everything's like 200 yards away, 300 yards away. And I think quite a few of his books have talked about that type of stuff, where there's snipers and ex-military and all that, so it's always wide open plains. He went to the list at the back. This was actually the fourth one that he wrote. Um, and really, I've read the much later ones, which were more recent, uh, I think over the past five to ten, five to seven years or so. It seemed like a slightly different writing style than the rest that I've read, and a slightly different character. I really like the way the plot unfolds for this one. There's a small group of characters um, in the investigation. I mean, there's always an investigation if you know Lee Child and if you know Jack Reacher, the Jack Reacher series, it's always investigating something. So in this investigation, there's a small group of members and it stays small. And so that enables Lee to go into deeper, into more depth about each character and how we understand each character and how each character understands each other and really form a relationship versus some of the other books where it's like bam, 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 bam. It's like from setting to location to location to location to location. It's like shots fired, faces punched in and boom. So this one was a bit more in depth. I enjoyed that. I also enjoyed the fact that there wasn't too much of a backstory. I noticed in some of the other books, in certain scenarios, he arrives to a scene really quick. Sometimes I've had to turn back pages and go, wait, wait, who's this new person again? And then turn back the page a few times and like, oh yeah, that's what it is. And then turn back again. So in this book, you don't have to do that as much because um, he's already established the characters really nicely. Also, he held back who the bad guy was for a long, long time, right near the end of the book, in the last few pages. So that was... Uh, a change for me because I read a few of his other books where you know who the bad guy is but it's usually like a long approach a long strategy uh, planning out properly how to approach and then usually Jack Richard finds them in like this house and annihilates them or whatever so this time it was more like uh, nobody knew so it was really suspenseful 
uh, and I stayed awake for two nights up till 3.30 and 4 a.m., much to the detriment of my health. I don't recommend that, by the way, since I also love mind, body, spirit, and talk about that on this channel. I do not recommend doing that. For me, I did that because at the back of my mind, I knew I, I exercise, I have a lot of green smoothies, I eat a lot of vegetables, I'm calm and meditated most of the time, especially when I'm not stuck in day jobs. <laughs> the other thing I liked in this book was that the character that he drew up as uh, Reacher's uh, sort of collaborator on the case, uh, she was kind of hot. <laughs> or at least she was hot in my imagination. When I read the book, uh, well, now since you guys know I'm straight, obviously, uh, and I'm married, I have a wife and all that. So when I say hot, obviously it was a woman. The lady I was picturing when I was reading the character he described was actually um, one of the girls from the Shadow Hunters series on Netflix, where she, I think she visits the clave. Uh, for those of you know the Shadow Hunters story, if you know the Shadow Hunters story, she visits the clave and she almost marries, was his name Alec or Alex? I think it was Alec. Uh, marries Alec in the Shadow Hunters series. Yeah, so uh, it was Alec. And the, the girl who sort of marries Alec, but then they sort of stop it at the altar. So I was imagining her, but taller, obviously, because in the series she was quite short. And this book he describes her as really tall. For me, obviously, when I read such things, I'm, I'm thinking of my wife because, you know, she's the closest woman who I have such experiences with. Another thing I enjoyed in this book was uh, the arguments that Richard is having with uh, the other characters. Obviously, I won't tell them, tell you who they are. And there's quite a lot of that, and quite a lot of back and forth and strong arming uh, verbally. I found that hilarious, and I was laughing out each time. Sometimes at the coffee shop, sometimes at home. Uh, so I mean, I had a lot of fun reading this one. And in this one, I guess he pulled a couple of strings like he can usually do because of his army background, but not that many strings. This one was really like a mind game. They were really there was a lot of emphasis placed on sitting around tables and thinking about who the killer, you know, who the, well, as many killers as it, as with most books, but who one of the main villains could be. Uh, there was a lot of table planning and a lot of thinking and a lot of thinking. And I was sort of in a thinking state myself these past few days, so maybe it was a nice synchronicity that I picked it up and it resonated. But yeah, there was a lot of, of smart thinking going on. And I really liked the way it all came together in the end. And the thinking led to nowhere, uh, as described in the book. But then in the end, we just says, oh, he was thinking of it himself. Uh, but he, he wanted to see if the theory was true and he didn't know. And the rest of the team didn't know until the end. It was also paced and, and, and it was also paced a little bit like a film. And the movement from one scene to the next uh, really reminded me of a film, but it wasn't too quick. Recently, I read another book uh, called The Atlantis Gene by A.G. Riddle, sitting right there on the shelf, which I'm going to review as well. Uh, in that book, sometimes the scenes are very, very quick. Some people might love that, of course. For me, that's a bit fast. I tend to be a slow, calm, relaxed person. Uh, and I read slowly. I read very slowly, and I really take in each word and emotion and and seen and really draw up an image in my head of the entire thing being described. So for me, uh, this one had really good pacing um, in terms of the other books that I read. Sometimes the, the pacing's too fast. Um, so yeah, these are all the reasons I enjoyed this book. It was really a page turner. Uh, no matter how tired I was, I fought my, I really fought my sleep. This is the first time I've fought my sleep like that. Maybe one of the five times in my life. The other four times is probably um, staying awake to finish a song or something because I do release music as well. I guess this might be the first book review video I'm publishing, so I'm, I'm just saying as usual. So that might be funny to those of you seeing this for the, this video when I release it. But depending on when you're seeing this video, let's say this channel is now already full of book reviews. As usual, <laughs> I'm leaving the Amazon link in the description. So if you decide to purchase this book on Kindle or soft copy or hard copy or whatever it is you guys do, for me it's always a solid book, it's always hard copy. Preferably not with hard cover, because hard cover kind of makes it hard to read. I prefer soft cover, because I know it's bad for the environment. We're killing off paper and all that. I'm in a bit of an ethical battle, but then looking at the screen is bad for our eyes, we're killing ourselves. So, 
It's a bit, yeah, so <laughs> stories are just amazing. Maybe I guess the, the way to do it in tune would be to all get around, around a fireplace or something, and then tell stories to each other. I don't know. Maybe we'll evolve to that sooner or later, like we did in the past, uh, as this whole great awakening on Earth carries on. But and as you can see, even after I read the entire book, I bought this new from the bookstore. It's still sort of in mint condition. That's what I like to do. Um, no folds. None of that stuff. That's just me. I treat these as works of art. They are works of art. An artist drew this artwork. So, and including on the cover, right over here, on the spine. I mean, and so this book is just. I don't know. I just kind of did it for me. Maybe I'm just in a good place in my life. I'm not sure, but I really enjoyed this one. So, you guys should go grab your copy soon. So I've left the link to this book. Um, in the description of this YouTube video. If you decide to get it, please use my Amazon link. That helps me to continue doing this full time and making more such videos for you guys. And hopefully we share the love of books and stories together. So if you like this video, please click like, please subscribe on my YouTube channel and please switch on the bell. This helps me to continue doing this for a long, long time. <laughs> Thank you. And see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoy reading this.